Intel, the computer inside. I was just watching this behind the scenes of this uh, Divided We Stand episode of Star Trek Continues. That's a web series that some Star Trek fans are doing, and it's a pretty good series if you're into Star Trek. But um, this scene actually appears in the episode, but I was just watching the behind the scenes. It reminded me that I wanted to make a comment on this. Uh, apparently, I believe, if I'm looking at these motherboards here correctly, it looks to me like the Enterprise is being powered by a Pentium Pro and a uh, Socket 7 chip of some sort. Um, it took me a little bit of time to figure out what that motherboard on the right was. Uh, you can clearly see that the uh, one of the problems that Scotty's having is that he's forgotten to uh, insert the memory into that motherboard. And I can also see that the power header is not even plugged into it. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. You know, if you ever wonder where what people buy scrap lots of parts for, computer parts or whatever, well, it might be to make a TV show. I pretty sure that's a Pentium Pro motherboard just by looking at the heatsink. It's a rather large heatsink. And I don't know if the camera will zoom in, but you can kind of see there's two straps holding that heat sink on, at least as best as I can make out there. And that's exactly what's on the uh, Pentium Pro heat sinks. Uh, kind of looks to me like this is probably a gateway board of some sort. I can't really tell for sure. I'd have to pull my gateway board out to see for certain if that's the case or not. You can see at the very far right of the screen there the uh, couple ISO ports there are kind of visible. And then you got four PCI in the RAM. It looks like a Pentium Pro motherboard to me, but I can't say that for certain because I don't know. But that heat sink and those clips make me think that it probably is. This board is a little bit curious. I, I can't really tell for certain. I know it's a Socket 5. I thought maybe it might have been a, a, a Socket 3 overdrive chip. It's definitely an Intel overdrive chip or a uh, retail that came with the heat sink and fan already attached. Um, but if you look down a little bit there, you can see that it looks like it has 30-pin SIMs in it, which doesn't make sense. I kind of suspect that they might have just glued some memory on that board just to kind of make it look like there's something in there. Uh, you can also see at the top there, top edge of that board looks to me like the uh, Dallas RTC right here and the keyboard controller right there. So it looks to me like they might have just lopped that board off right here. And uh, it might have lo they might have lopped a few motherboards off and kind of glued them together. There's definitely another motherboard over here somewhere that looks like I can't really tell for certain if it's a motherboard or a video card, but it definitely looks like a a, a more modern chip there. So I, I can't tell for certain what that is. But I just found that found that kind of fascinating when I was watching this episode for the first time that. Uh, they just took some scrap computer motherboards and shoved them in this little whatever they're filming here and <laughs> oh it's like yeah that's pretty obvious there guys um yeah so now you know what processors power the enterprise apparently they're at least intel based <laughs> oh i guess that's why scotty can never get the warp engines to work <laughs> take take it easy guys Frequencies open. Scotty, we need more power. I can't hold it much longer, Captain. 